Well, we are at the end of day 12. I dare say this may be the most productive day we've had. Today felt like a fresh start. Jacob has all of his guitar parts done on one guitar in drop C. This definitely ranks in my top three most productive days we've had in the studio so far whatsoever. The musicality of this day, I think, trumps all other days that we've had. I've had it in my head for a long time to capture more string texture on Mirror Mirror, but it was the last thing kind of on my plate. But today, Ross was listening through my talkback mic and he said, let's take a break and I'm gonna put another mic in here. So we threw in one of our uh, Lewitt mics and managed to get the finger picking and strumming texture and it just opened up a whole new level on this song I didn't know was possible. It adds more depth to this song and dimension to it and I'm so excited because it sounds so good. And he tore into the solos and then we get we go into the last chorus on that song and he did something just kind of noodling and I was like we're gonna have to go back. You're gonna have to play some like offset solos under the vocals on that. A whole new solo section got added to that song today that we've never played before. Brand new idea in the studio and he laid some leads down and it just sounded amazing. And I think it just brings the emotional depth up in the end of the song. This song is really, really powerful. Uh, and we want it to be really powerful. And for me, I want the end of this song to just like really, really move people. And I think the impact it's gonna have is even greater. So going into the last solo was a big deal. That's the only solo that I did not have nailed prior to coming into the studio. Uh, every time we played it live, the first several phrases of it, I've kind of played the same on stage, but then the rest of that's just, <laughs> it's a guessing. <laughs> I guess it's going to happen. I actually really got pretty fatigued today playing that outro solo because I just really wanted to get it nailed and it was just not landing. So we decided to take a break, get out of this studio, go walk around the block, get some fresh air and then come back in and, and hit it again. And I feel like that break really let us talk through what we expected out of it and helped us eliminate some of the struggle just by simplifying it. Um, less is more. It let me focus, I got back in, and we nailed it down in several more takes. I came by because I hadn't heard anything yet and I wanted to see what was going on. And uh, today I listened to Mirror Mirror and uh, Swifty and Jacob has done his part so far, um, and it sounds incredible. I can't wait to hear what, it, what it's gonna sound like whenever Ross is done with his stuff too, because I think Tanner's playing after I track, and, but nobody cares about him anyway, so it doesn't matter. My initial reaction listening to it was, is this done already? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounded to me like it was finished. It's so clean and so crisp that it's, I'm like, why do we need to send this to somebody? We just did it ourselves. Just pan it and make it happen. Just kidding, but it's gonna be awesome when it's done. All in all, today, I felt like there was no wasted time. We took breaks when we needed to, but we got so much done today. After today, I feel like the album went from here to here, and it's just getting better. It's day for 12. Oh my gosh, that's horrible.